34 Aikens Ford F450 King Ranch Ohio State Buckeye Reserve Edition. For a great customer from Indiana, Mr. Otto Sussex, he's a medical director up in Indiana, a highly decorated doctor in the medical field, teacher and owner as well. He also played for the Buckeyes in the late 80s. That's why we're rolling with the Buckeyes. Now the biggest decision that we had to make was what shoe to wear in this rendition because we got cowboy swag with the King Ranch country inspired luxury truck. So we got the Lucasius in the middle and we got Jays and some of my favorite red, white, and black shoes. But Otto said, real deal, you gotta go next level and do something very unique. So I said, I got you, big doll. We went right straight for the Jordan 1, that freshy fresh, y'all. Look at that. Ohio State Buckeye Reserve Edition. Let's review. Roll that footage. better just slapping these pet boys on, I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's go. By now you know how hardcore I've been for the Georgia Bulldogs my entire life from day one. And everyone here at Aikens Ford as well, we are die hard dogs. So when Otto hit us up and told us about this project, we still did not hesitate for one second because of how quickly I saw Otto was a great guy and this truck project was gonna be truly special. We debated between a Platinum and a King Ranch truck, but finally landed on the King Ranch for that country inspired luxury, which I'll show you in just a moment. But the inspiration from this truck came from not their home or away jersey, but their alternate jersey that hits totally different. Look at that helmet, how it's got that gunmetal gray and candy red in it. It's just a different vibe. One of my favorite alternate jerseys from Ohio State because you know I love details and I love all the different jersey combinations that the college football scene is throughout over the past dozen years or so and that is one of my favorite even though it's the Buckeyes. And we took that front grille, that big bar that goes all the way around into the headlight and did the gunmetal gray finish all the way throughout. Not one like it in the entire country. Everybody would have threw black right there and the candy just would not have looked right. Emblem combo up front, the candy red with the gun metal with a gate black to go along with it. All this was had chrome dimples in it. This was a brushed aluminum look as well. So a complete transformation overall. And look how bold and substantial the front looks now. It's a F450 like no other in the country. And that's what it's about here at Aikens Ford and Wildwoods in Winder, Georgia. We're a top six four dealership nationally and doing trucks like this that are one of one make all the difference in the world. The front bumper and rear bumper were chrome. That's right. This was a chrome bumper that we took care of in a gate black fashion. This was a texture black portion as well. Did a gate black there candy on the tow hook for a money setup overall and that valence down below that hangs down so low which i do not like we trim that up to the trimmer level painted a gate black as well you can see what we got going on suspension wise the kelderman air suspension lift kit you can see the raptor shocks are specifically made for the f450 to give you optimal control and feel while on road or off road and the Firestone airbags and Raptor Shocks remote reservoir set the stage for primo ride quality and capability out of an F450. Now look here at the 24 inches. I told you that 2024 is the year of 24 inches and we're continuing it with our Ohio State Buckeye Reserve Edition, American Force Independence Wheels. They've been around for a while, but a classy rendition. And you can see the classy and elegance of that candy red powder coated brake calipers all the way around and the candy red and gunmetal gray on the American Force center cap. And this is not middling, this is gunmetal all the way around as well. American Force bad boy on 38, 13 and a half, 24 Toyo Open Country RT trails. This is the competitor with the Middle Ridge Grapper, which their sister company. So they both hit different, but are so similar, which I love. And you can experience great longevity out of that tire for what it is and how aggressive it looks. Down the side right here, King Ranch. This was all chrome and textured, non-premium component, candy, 
gunmetal magic. Look at this, y'all. This is all incredible to me. I love it so much. You roll up into the side mirrors as well. Gunmetal on the cap. This was all textured black. Did a gate black. Blacked out the inners there and candy inside the headlight. Nobody's doing it like we are. The 6.7 power stroke. Kept it red, but did it candy. Yes, it's a high output, but candy, not in red. And the power stroke in gunmetal. This upper and lower trim on your running board and window trim was chrome. Did it black to match that. Took away the chrome on the door handles. Did a gate black. This side pesky bed step, which I'm okay with now, with it being a copycat. A gate black throughout. Some people want to leave this texture, but if you go into this level, you got to go ahead and do that in Wild Willie custom fashion. It looks amazing and go America. Auto wanted to make sure we represented for the greatest country, One Nation Under God, on the side in matte black and silver to tie it together. Your hip lights here, front and rear. We did light smoke and black to really blend in. And then look at the deep dish. Look at the deep dish on the 24s, y'all. What you know about it, it looks incredible. It's not a directional wheel. It's not a crazy weird spoke or multi-spoke wheel. It's just a nice, elegant rendition, which I love. Underneath, a good look at the Horn Blaster Shocker XL train horn and all of our tank and compressors located in the spare tire location and our Kelderman's Raptor shocks and airbags ready to go to work. As you've already seen, this applique may be my favorite that we have ever done. It is so elegant. Coming up on this bad boy, you're gonna say, I have never seen a King Ranch like this. That's why I broke the hat out because this is legit. Gunmetal gray with a gate black and candy on the King Ranch logo. The rigid SRQ lights painted the match to go along with it. And this side bed step, a gate black, you know how we do. MBRP DPF back exhaust on the side. And we have Wild Willys rock lights all the way around to light up the night. Full use of that 360 camera. Forward accessories, retractable bed cover, looking great, nice and discreet and sleek. You saw the power up and power down function, but check out, now we have a rear view camera on top of the tailgate top and backup sensor. So if this is down and you're backing up, you got visibility and alerts. We approach the inside, we're like glass. We got ceramic coat. It's incredible. A black vehicle like this is so important to protect this because it's so easy to scratch. It's like money now. It's like glass, y'all. Look at here on the inside. More custom paint. King Ranch logo right here done up in black and candy. That is perfection for country inspired luxury. The King Ranch with the two-tone brown, b audio, even got brown headliner. This truck is so elegant and tasteful and not black. It's a great rendition that hits totally different. Black King Ranch. Smoked and painted the clearance lights up top. This truck, y'all, is one of one. And that's what you get with us. You're gonna see people across the entire country throw out custom trucks on the regular, on the daily, and they're good at marketing, but nobody's good to heart. I'm telling you, nobody can put it together like we can to make sure that we dial in for each individual customer. I stand firm in believing that I'm gonna listen and learn my customer better than anyone else. That way I know exactly what they're looking for and dial it in and knock a home run every single time. No matter what you're riding in or what you're wearing, make sure it's your vibe. Don't wear cookie cutter clothes or ride cookie cutter trucks definitely don't ride stock please custom is better than stock every single time i promise you there's so many ways that it can benefit you on a daily basis plus if you're riding in something that's a representation of who you are your personality and your mindset i promise you you'll go next level now we're going to go next level and show you the kelderman different ride heights and i forgot to mention that we also have a <laughs> train horn <laughs> A very loud train horn. Now right now we're at the optimal ride height setting. It's called a five to six inch kit because it fluctuates slightly between five and six inches. It's always adapting to the changing road conditions. So five to six inches is where it sits. Now let's go all the way down. Now this height here is to stunt and show out. You pull up to go out to eat with your lady. You want to drop it down low so she can get in and out very easily. Or if you're hooking up a trailer camper, etc., just lower that bad boy down for ease of hookup. Now it's time to go all the way up. So here all the way up, we sit in that eight to nine inch mark. It looks amazing. And this is a chicken just to stunt like a habit and show out, pull up in the parking lot, raise this bad boy up and show them and flex a little bit. Now back down to ride height. Right. 
So in summary, you got the high output 6.7 liter power stroke diesel pumping out 500 horsepower and 1200 pound feet of torque. The truck of all trucks. It'll tow anything and do whatever you want. Many people ask and say, oh, well, this thing will never tow anything. It'll never go off road. This thing can do all of the above. We have many customers that have 44 foot campers, horse trailers, etc., that tow with this bad boy on the regular. Or we have people that just want to everyday drive this and riding on air is the way to go. The Kelderman Air Ride Lift Kit presents the best ride quality, in my opinion, on the F450 because it's alleviating that rigidness that the hard components present, plus it still maintains all the retowing capacity and the killer looks that our reserve editions present. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I'll catch you tomorrow because we never stop here at Acres Ford and Wild Willys. Peace out. And actually seeing it in person versus, you know, pictured in video is totally, totally different. And it looks huge and it is big, but it's very manageable to drive. Very manageable. Made an entrance for sure. Holy cow. That is a beautiful truck. Just the way I imagined it, really. What a great truck. Did it meet expectations? Absolutely. <laughs> good, good. Golly. That is beautiful. So Otto took time. He's a very busy guy. He came all the way down here from Indiana. He's, he's a Buckeye at that, Ohio State Buckeye. So Buckeye Reserve Edition right here. Means everything. Congratulations. That is awesome.